bike is finally finished. We're gonna explain it a little bit and show you it in action. Okay, here's our homemade $30 weed whacker bike powered by a 25cc Craftsman weed eater or weed whacker motor. Um, I tried to, I, uh, when I first started, I tried to build it with a tri built, but those things are like, they're weirdly, weirdly hard to turn. So after that, I had to just take it off the second one I got. I got the weed whacker uh, from fr for free from like the like Facebook. My mom found one, and same thing for this bike. This bike was free, so that's good. Right here for the throttle, I took the old um, brake off of my my old bike. Um, just used that, recycled that, connected it right here. I don't know what that thing is called. So we use that. Um, if you see right here, um, it's a friction drive. There's no chain or anything. It's just um, the motor pressing against there and turning it. I used a bike peg to um, as a spindle. One thing I really wanted with this bike was to be able to ride it like a normal bike. Um, if you didn't want to use the engine, all, since I don't want to use the engine all the time. So to do that, I just used a turnbuckle on each side, one right here and one right here, because I wasn't getting enough friction with just one, so I had to go for two. Um, really. The most expensive thing was the aluminum the square tube that we used. Um, that was like 17 bucks, I think, for like one like that long. Um, but yeah, it totally works. Gas tank just took off the old thing. There's a new, these are new fuel lines because they the old ones are crappy. And um, that's really all there is to know about this bike. Thank you.